There you go, 7590. So all we're gonna now do is go to the level. We need a little level now over there, mate. Here you go. It's actually slightly out, isn't it? You see it here? Now you can see it's it's like three, four mil out. Now what I always do when it's a little bit like that, I'll always end up tweaking this one a little bit by half of that. And the same with that line over there. I always split it between the two lines. I don't just adjust one fully out. So you can see there at the moment, the measurement's on. So what I'm gonna do is when I drive this down, see it now just moving the peg for me where I want it. So now I've got that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive that one this way a little bit and then it'll be spot on to where I want it to be. Uh, we're talking millimeters here. So obviously when we're talking millimeters on a line, there's absolutely nothing. If you can imagine a footing is 600, the wall is 300. That means we've got 150 mil one side, 150 mil another side, doesn't it? So there you go, look at that, absolutely spot on. That's it, seven meters, 590 mil. So now we know this line here, and this line here is parallel with the building. It's absolutely spot on to where we want it. So the next thing we've got to do is we're going to take a parallel of this building here. So as you can see here, from the existing part of the build all the way then to the outside of this foot in here, we've got a measurement of three meters, 500 mil. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this one first, okay? We'll measure that outside of the building now. We know that that cavity wall is 300 mil wide, and we know our footing is 600 mil wide, because that's what you do as a standard trenching of any footings that you dig. Okay guys, so it's always really, really key that your footing is always the standard width of 600, unless the engineer or the architect specify anything differently, okay? So me and Pete, uh, we're gonna go three meters, 500 now from that building there, all the way this way, okay? So it's three meters, four, three, four, five, there you go, that's the measurement there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my pin at that point there like that, okay? And that's gonna be a temporary pin. So I was just going to check that's 3.5. That's it, good. Now 3.5 is basically about here. Now you're probably thinking, oh, that's not plumb and that's not level, so it's three meters from it. But I'm within five, 10 mil and I'm not overly first because at the moment I'm just giving myself a guide so I can settle where the footing's going to come. So at these two lines here, the biggest thing, I've got to make sure the building's square to when I put this footing through now. And then once I've done that, that will give me a better indication. So I'm just going to drive this peg home at three meters, 500. Now don't forget, these are just guides for me. So what I want to do is I want to run a line. So it's touching there and it's touching that pin. But what I'll then do is run the line past these pins that so comes over here and then comes over on that line. The reason I do that, because then I can get a square in and put a square on the line and see how square it is. Same over on that point there, put a square in again. Okay guys, so I'm gonna run my line, same again. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check the diagonals again. So you go to that side there, mate. Okay, mate, I've got eight meters and 40 mil now. Amy is 340 mil. Okay, mate. Look at that. Eight meters, 340 mil. Get it in there. So lovely. All the diagonals are absolutely beautiful and square. So basically what we're gonna do now is that we've got all of the outside of the building where the shell of the building is gonna go up. So obviously now we've got to mark where the footings are gonna go. Now the way I do it, people do it different ways. The way I do it now, now I know that's the outside of my building. I literally level down, mark out that way, 150 mil, spray line, do the same up there, spray line. And then all I'll do is then I'll take these pins out. And then from that spray line, I'll actually then mark back from that spray line, 300 mil. The reason I do it that way is because then that tells me then that's the center of the footing because then I'll then draw that line and then as we're digging with the bucket, the bu center of the bucket is then exactly on that line, which means I can't drift. So from the line, we put the level up to the line like that. We're gonna get it nice and level. Really good, isn't it, yeah? Like that. Same again over here. Get nice and leveled up. Yeah, that's good there. Good there, so. Right there we go. That line there represents basically the outside of my building. So all I'm gonna do now is, this is why I do slip knots. So all I need to do now is just pull that, 
like that, that releases the line beautifully for me. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna step from that line this way, 150 mil. Like that, 150 mil. And then what I'm gonna do then is go 300 mil like that. And the reason being is 300 mil, what do I say? That's the center of my footing. So this is really, really important. So now I'm just gonna mark that like that. See, they're just coming up. Even though it's a big yellow line like that, don't worry about it, because all I'm gonna do, I'll wiggle my post out. Right, so all I'm gonna do now, put that ready to go here, because I know that's my line. And then I'm gonna go over here. Right, here we go again, from that mark, 150 mil, and then measure 300 mil, which is in the center of the footing. So imagine that's the side of the actual footing, that's the outside of the build. 300 mil, that represents the center of the footing. If you imagine you've got 100 mil brickwork, you've then got 100 mil cavity, you've then got 100 mil then block work, and then you've then got another 150 mil of footing. So if I then go there, like that, that's where the footing comes. If you imagine like that, that's where it comes. And you can see 300 mil, that's where my 300 mil comes. So that represents, so all of that section there now is where the new building that's the actual brick wall that's the cavity wall okay so what i'm going to do is i'll put a line across here now which i'll show you what do you like there ben good yeah it's okay there okay drive your peg in there mate now lovely there's where i need to be so that looks good on that pin so what i'm going to do like this pin home Tight. Good, Ben. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Excellent. There you go, mate. Good. Yeah. Middle of the foot in here now. Middle of the foot in here. So what we're going to do now? Get the marker. Give a good spray up. Uh, you can see this dust. This ground's getting really dusty. Just push that off there. Just allows me to. Get a good spray. And if you notice, I only do small amounts. I don't try too long, massive runs. I literally line it through. Looks good on my line still. Not lost my line. There we go. Look at that. So now that line represents the centre of my footing, which then represents the centre of the bucket. So what's going to happen now is. We're going to start excavation on this side here and we're going to dig along and then what we've got to then do is look at where we've got to dig to. We need to know how far we've got to come this way. So if you can see the edge of the foot in here and this wall will just add on 150 mil. So what we're going to do is we'll add up all these measurements here and then add on the 150 mil because that basically is the inside of the cavity wall where the block work comes there. So you can imagine this bit here and this bit here is block work. So what we'll do is calculate all those figures up now. Which come to, let's get the calculator going. Six, four, three, plus two meters, plus to the back of that is 11.25, you see it? No, sorry it's not, it's 12.55, I need my glasses. It's 12.55 equals and then obviously we've then got another 150 mil. So plus 150 equals, so it's four meters and 48 mil. So I would actually say that's four meters and 50. So that represents the, from the outside of that building on that side to the edge of the foot in here is four meters 50. So what we know on the drawing, it shows us from this measurement here, all the way that way to the side of the foot in, is four meters and 50 mil. So what we're going to do now is, I'll get the surveys, okay? So what we're going to do now is, four meters and 50 mil. There's four meters. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give myself a little bit more concrete. You got it, Ben? Yeah, got it. Okay, I'm going to go there, four one. So then, that means I've got to excavate now with the digger from that point all the way along here to four meters one. And then what will happen is then, I'll then come off this section here like this for the next part of the actual footing. But you'll see now this all now being excavated on time, that's so good. All right, cool. 